So we're gonna go back a little bit. guys what's up it's your girl Shalane Hughes um thank you for coming to watch the vlog here on the YouTube channel uh and this vlog was actually supposed to go up like last week so I apologize for that but uh, your girl has been busy we've been working with Foxy I've been writing Seze I have been super busy with work so yeah it's it's been just wheels have been turning non-stop and i'm trying my best and i've been watching nfr so yeah um so we're gonna go back a little bit because i did not have enough room on the video to show y'all what had happened like two months ago so y'all go ahead and check this out real quick all right guys so today is saturday and today says is having her first outing ever so we're doing a little practice day today so she's gonna go to heightston we've got some friends going up there foxy and says they are going to practice today all right see i got foxy behind me i had to take off my long sleeve because it got hot really quick so i brought a hay bale for says foxy's gonna go first then says I is going to ride. So a group of us got together and we are renting out the rodeo pen for a couple hours. I am only staying for about an hour because I have other stuff to do later on today. But I really wanted to bring Foxy up here and practice before the November rodeo that we, I say rodeo, the November big barrel race that we have. So she's going to come up here and practice. And says it came with us. What's it doing, Daryl? Hi! <laughs> she's like, I'm not sure why I'm here. I don't know why you brought me. So she's gonna ride around for a little bit. She may look at barrels while we're here just because it's a perfect opportunity, we're here. Um, but I just brought her to come see the sights. She's never left the house before except for one time and that was one trailer ride that was down the road and back. So this is her furthest trailer ride that she's been on and the first time that she's been anywhere. So she handled it like a champ, like a champ. So uh, we're just gonna chill out here for a little bit until everybody starts coming in. Technically we can't get into the uh, pen until noon and I think it's like 1150 something right now. So I think it is rented from like 12 to four. So I'm not going in there until after 12 or around 12. So I'm probably about to go get uh, get the girls set up in the back. I might go ahead and put Seze in her own little pin in the back because they do have like little holding pins. So I might go ahead and put Seze back there and get her some water and put her hay, hay bag up. So Seze had her very first outing up at the rodeo pin and everything. I was so excited. We had a like a big kind of practice day. It was me and like five, six other riders that we had all like went up there for a couple hours. I had only went for an hour. I think they had ended up staying for like four hours. Um, I don't know who all showed up. I don't know how long they all stayed and everything. I could only stay for about an hour. I did end up going a little bit over an hour, but I just, I was, stuff happened said Foxy was a little bit rattled. She was all high strung and everything. I still wanted to be able to ride Seze. So Seze got rode for about 10 minutes, um, but Foxy pretty much got rode for a whole hour. So, and it was still just like, <sighs> we need to just settle down. So fast forward on to the NBA show show. That ended up being my last MBHA show of the season. Uh, I am completely done with MBHA um, for 2022. 
I don't think I'm going to renew my uh, membership for next year just because of how everything was ran and everything. And I have goals to focus on rodeo, be like instead of just local associations. So with that being said, I went ahead, I did, uh, I had renewed my MBHA a membership just to get Foxy, get her feet wet, just let her play around, let her see things. Now... We are going on to WPRA for 2023. That is the only association that I'm planning on being a part of for 2023. If I decide to go ahead and do like LRCA, that may come later. I don't know yet. Um, LRCA is the Louisiana's Amateur Rodeo Association, basically. Um, so it is pretty much just sanctioned for Louisiana. There is some rodeos in Texas. There's some in Arkansas, I believe, and I believe some in Mississippi as well. There could be some in Oklahoma, but I don't see very many of them. So, yeah. What are you doing? You wanna say hi to the vlog? You wanna say hi to the vlog? No? Jack is still getting used to being picked up and stuff. So he's a little bit eh. But that's Jack. I think I had introduced him to y'all a couple of vlogs ago. He's the new barn cat. Um, But yeah, so with that being said had our last mbha show of the year i like didn't go to the last last one i we were busy so i was able to go to the one in november as my last show i have made all my shows i don't know how all the points are going to play out i don't know what the season like what the what all the awards look like or anything so we will find that out later but you guys, I am so excited to say that Foxy's new personal best is a 15-7. Let me say that again. Her new personal best is a 15-7. Her old one was a 16-3. So, she has basically cut her new personal best by half a second. And I am just so excited. Like I, uh, like I was like, all the emotions were hitting me that night and everything. Uh, Cody was able to come. There was people there at the race that they're just like, I'm so proud for you. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, we're finally getting this. We're finally, things are finally starting to click. And y'all, y'all need to check out this run. So I will go ahead and let y'all watch that right now. believe it <laughs> said I have felt like I was being a liar for at some aspect because it's like every time I would be like on my Instagram being like had the best practice had like she is excelling she is phenomenal during practice and it would like not show during our runs so we it's starting to finally show <laughs> basically so with that being said like i was just like i kept telling her i was like you're gonna have to quit making a liar out of me because i'm telling everybody how great you are during our practices and then we go to the braces and we like blow off our second barrel and it's like now she's starting to kind of like okay not really worried about that let's turn the second barrel let's do the thing like we can i got this so it was I was just so excited about the whole thing. I like she ended up the bottom of the 3D. So she went from middle of the 5D 
to bottom of the 3D. And I was just like, oh, it's coming. It's starting. We are getting it. Finally. <laughs> so she actually ended up being like, I want to say like one hundredth of a second too fast for a 4D check. So it was like right there on the line and everything, but I was like, I'm, I'm excited for her to be in the 3D. I will take her being at the bottom of the 3D over a 4D check any day of the week. Like just seeing the progression as we're going. And she has been on barrels for a year. Like she ran her very first run just a little bit over a year ago. Like I wanna say it was either October, or November of 2021. So for her to come from 20 second runs to now a 15 7 like I'm pretty sure in the year she has cut down her time by five whole seconds and she's not even at her fastest she's not even on her turns she's not quite at her top level yet guys and she's already running basically like was that four tenths of a second off of Sunny in this very same pin. So it's like, I'm super excited to see how fast she can be. Cause like I, I watch her out in the field. I know that she is, she is fast out in the field. Like I'm watching everybody like struggle to keep up with her. Says they struggles to keep up with her. And so I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm just like all in the fields and just, I, it feels like we're starting to finally get things. So I'm sorry that this vlog is a little bit late, but I'm going to go ahead and get this posted. I'm like trying to hurry up and get this posted before our next run, which is actually this weekend. Said so we've got a run this weekend and we've got a run on a Tuesday night. So we've got two more races for the year of 2022. And I will reveal some things <laughs> come coming up on the new year and everything. But, like, the reason why I wanted to get these two in, like, one is another big co-approved race. There's another one, the weeknight one that we're going to go to next Tuesday. It's got a setup that she's not used to. And it's got a setup that's similar to the rodeos that we're going to be going to in 2023. So I wanted to go ahead and just bring her to a jackpot set and get her used to that kind of little setup and everything. And just kind of get her in a mindset of like, things are going to be changing. I want you to be ready. So we're going to take things one day at a time. We are super busy coming this weekend. Next week, I am like, getting rodeos on a schedule already and I am just we're gonna see how it goes <laughs> so um if you guys enjoyed this vlog be sure to like comment down below subscribe you can share this channel with your friends your family uh whoever that you would like to there's a little share button on there that you could copy the link and send it to whoever so if y'all would do me the greatest pleasure of that that would be amazing um comment down below if there's stuff that you would like to see if um if y'all are just encouraging us to keep on going like that would be even great too so i i appreciate every single one of y'all that have taken the time out of your day and probably busy schedule as well to watch us go through this during our vlogs and stuff and says they have started on the barrels guys i'm gonna put that in there right now so she is starting on the barrels we're not fast we're not trying to go fast the fastest that we've gotten is a trot so but she is expected to start exhibitioning to say the least next year um i will probably wait till either the spring or until like her actual around her fourth physical birthday so I hope that you guys enjoy this and I will be seeing y'all next week. Bye guys.